And tonight we're also taking a deeper look into a parking garage in the city of Elmira that was approved to get over a million of your tax dollars dedicated to it. Our 18 News reporter Nick Dubina has been following this story for us and joins us with more of an in-depth look. On Monday, we told you about the nearly $1.3 million that have already been spent to help revitalize Centertown Parking Garage here in downtown Elmira. Part of that money went to several infrastructure fixes to ensure the structural integrity of the building. As you can see behind me, part of the facade is either crumbling or has already fallen. Today, we are taking a closer look at the conditions inside the garage. Now, one of the first issues you'll notice when arriving at Centertown Parking Garage is when you try to use the elevators. This garage has three elevators. Unfortunately, all three appear to be out of service. So if the elevators are down, you gotta take the stairs. After you climb past the third floor, you start to see that the stairwells in the garage are mostly covered in graffiti. Now we asked city manager Collins about the graffiti in the stairwells on Monday, and he told us that homeless people do get inside the garage after hours when parking attendants are no longer on site. Collins says he is in favor of repainting the stairwells. However, so far we have not heard a plan as to how to prevent homeless people from regaining access and repainting the walls. Here on the top floor, as you can see, there are designated handicapped parking spaces, but if you turn right over here to where the elevator used to go, you'll see it has been boarded up. The city says part of the 1.3 million was also used to install these new LED lights that are now on every level inside the garage. Now, other recent improvements have also been made to the garage. As you can see behind me, LED lights now line the inside frame of the windows in the stairwell. And the giant mural behind me was just completed in November. As far as the elevators not working, city manager Collins says before he spoke to me on Monday, he was unaware that all three were down, but that the city will look into how and when they can be fixed or even replaced. I tried to reach Mr. Collins again today for further comment, but I did not hear back before air. In downtown Elmira, I'm Nick Dubina, 18 News. As Nick just mentioned, we here at 18 News have reached out to multiple officials to get the city's opinion on the garage, but have not heard back at this time. To see more on the garage and the vote on how much of your tax money is going towards it, head on over to our website.